So what's up you guys, my name is Yogi and I'm doing a starting up something new called Tales of Berserkia. Uh it's my first um Tales of the game, so I have not actually played to completion, but it's not doing that. And yeah, we're gonna try and do this on um insane difficulty. However, I don't believe I'm able to unlock insane difficulty right off the bat. I think I have to go until I beat a certain monster. So, I have played a little bit of this, and I have, that's the only reason why I know that is because I have played a little bit of it. Like, as you can see, I do have some save files. We're not going to go off of this, we're going to start off fresh, and we're actually going to start off with hard difficulty. And, yeah. Without further ado, let's just get into it. You hide here, Velvet. I'm going back to help Celica. I'm so scared. Arthur, please! <laughs> You'll be just fine with these. Celica enchanted them herself. They'll give you the courage you need to survive. They will? Sure they will. Now, have I ever lied to you? I'll come back for you once Celica is safe. It's scary, but don't give in to fear. Don't despair, no matter what. I won't. I promise. After all, I'm Laffy's older sister, and you're a student. Damon. Arthur, help us! <laughs> okay. Looks like that was the beginning of the story. On that day, the world began to change. 
Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits, hunting and killing anyone they could. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. And revenge upon one man. I do you want revenge? Let's find out. Oh, just say the heads up. Fluffy, time to wake up. Uh, okay. Morning. I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Hmm. Bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aw, but I wanted to go to the Cape. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? Don't trouble your sister, Lafayette. I didn't mean to. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah, enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. I can earn it myself then. Bring down a few prickle bores, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own? Arthur's first maxim. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. All right. I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in the spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Right. I'll see you later. I whipped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by evening. Thank you. Be careful, Velvet. And it looks like we're in. Okay, we don't need this. We're not playing on mouse and keyboard. Hold up. Just a sec. Okay, oh, yeah. Okay. And we're in. Okay, so yeah, like I was about to say, this game does have a, uh, from what I've seen, has a decent, like, a lot of dialogue in it. So I'll probably end up... Rest up, alright? Don't forget to take some gels with you. You know, you're careless sometimes. I'll be fine. You just make sure... Don't worry about me. I'll be in bed resting. You better be. You better be. Anyways... It does have a, a fair amount of dialogue in it, so if there's a point where I like end up backtracking, I'll probably end up skipping over it unless there's something important things are being said, or if anyone wants to see like all the casual dialogue. There also are points where you can listen to other dialogue. It's like side dialogue, but they're a little, a little funny, I guess. I only know that because I did play a little bit of this. So this is just talking about the mini map. In the space in the top right or top left corner, press X is for the area map. Current objective, right bumper. If okay. I'm on the hunt for prickle bores, I'd better try the tranquil woods outside of town. This is for Luffy's medicine, so I can't mess this up. Okay, let's go to here. Gracie's going through the town. Wait, we got something. Come to think of it, Arthur hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. There's been so much going on, and the village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just worn out? That does it. I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Salika taught me. That ought to pick him right up. A healthy portion of nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike. Ever since the opening seven years ago, this world's really gone crazy. Famine, freezing weather, and worst of all, this demon blight that's turning people into monsters. I can't believe that people can really turn into those things. It's a nightmare. nightmare. Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? No. What 
we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, I mean, demons, they gain incredible strength and attack humans on sight. <sighs> Whoever named it the opening named it right. It's like someone opened a portal directly to hell. Come to think of it, Celica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died when she did. She didn't have to suffer through all really? of this. It's good that my sister died? How can you say that? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. You're a real idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. This dude. Okay. We got. Hey, Velvet. Is Lafayette feeling better? No, not yet. He needs a little more rest. I think. Aw, too bad. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Right, got it. Lafisette's illness sure is persistent. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back, like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit, but still, that sounds terrible. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, but we'll be fine. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. And before he came, Selica raised me and Lafi all by herself. So now I have to do my best too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. Okay. So also, going back to what these guys over here were saying. If you guys don't know, so... I should so... probably stock up on a few things before <sighs> I go into the forest. I don't have a lot of money to spare. But like Arthur always says, battles are won and lost with the preparations made before the first strike. As I was saying... <laughs> So basically, demon blight, it's essentially, in this, in this world, it's essentially considered a disease, from what I know. They consider it a disease, and yeah, here we go. Uh, hopefully it's not lagging on the recording, I'm not exactly sure. The demon blight is a punishment, sent to us by the Empyreans for forgetting the old prayers. Who are the Empyreans? The four Empyreans created the world. The one Empyrean shall bring it to peace. Be afraid. When contradiction permeates this world, the time of suppression will be upon us. Are you okay? Want me to take you home? No! Don't treat me like a child! All right then. Oh, it's you, Velvet. If you're going to the Cape, take care. Don't fall into the Shrine of Tranquility, right? I know. I'm not a kid. Of course, of course. You're 13 now, aren't you? I'm 16. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of backtracking in this game, so... This area looks promising. Okay. I think hunt trickle boars and then tranquil woods. Yeah, let's get going. Yeah. Not feeling it right now. That was a tutorial. How will attack your form mission over all these character kind of possesses? So. Combo attack. By stunning, defeating, or inflicting fast damage upon its enemies, you get souls aligned for more combos. So stunning, like that. So I think in insane, they're a lot more aggressive. It was like harder to hit them. There we go. Is that all? For me, uh, contact with enemy in the field will initiate battle. Okay, if the effort seems to zero. If you feel you're unable to win an unwinnable battle, you can escape by basically running to the outside circle. Uh, you cannot flee from battles that have a red border. Yeah, Let's that's how it's done. Okay, so I can't go to that area. The cold weather's been terrible on everyone's crops. 
But at least the city will buy our prickle boar meat now. Luffy and Arthur have been hoping the village could start raising them, but they can just be so temperamental. I wonder if they could be bred with more docile pigs. What would we call them? Oinkle boars? Uh. Nah, doesn't sound appetizing. What about Piggle Boar? Yeah, Piggle Boar! That's a cute name. Maybe too cute, though. We wouldn't want to discourage people from eating them. I think you might be able to get to like an area over there if you're playing like New Game Plus. Okay, Let's fight this guy. That was a tutorial. Uh, Arc leaves of the Soul Gauge. Uh, when Soul Gauge drops to zero, you can it still attack. You will be knocked back if you try to defend. It's a combo until the Soul Gauge runs out. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> so basically, make sure this whole gauge is not empty when you're attacking. Uh, use left shoulder to defend. Defending increases or decreases damage. Also, greatly decreases whole gauge, but also resets the counter position. Would you like to attack me? There we go. Right, here goes! Also, I'm not exactly sure if this game is like grinding or not. Like in terms of levels, so you kind of just end up gaining levels as you progress because of experience. Not bad. And then there's also a great thing on the top, uh, top right that you basically get more rewards if you get a higher grade. Let's get going. Anything that's like not really relevant, like any like random walking I might just take out. Should be enough to cover the medicine. I'd better bring these to the store. Okay, we have some up here though. This is the pit. <sighs> this place isn't safe. That hole's gotten bigger. I've told them a thousand times they ought to build a fence, but they keep saying it's forbidden land. Even Celica used to scare me with it. She was always, This is a gateway to the underworld. Well, I'm too old to keep falling for that nonsense. Hmm. What is this? Oh, uh, crap. So that was the pit that the lady was talking about earlier. Okay, so we're heading back to the town to, I think, buy some medicine for Lockheed. Oh. Wait, the boars I hunted, are you there? Pokemon. Maxim 3, never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle. Final tutorial. Uh, hidden knives to focus on damage and attack range when you use moves. But use one of your SG, Fulgage, and martial arts. Searing edge is effective against these. Uh, getting advantage by exploding your enemy's weak point. And three edge. Okay. Right, here goes! This is for Luffy! This AoE damage though. Cirrus. An exorcist art. Pride and anxiety, pity for the enemy, thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. 
<laughs> Agreed. It's one of her virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to... Who are you talking to? Are you... Are you high? <laughs> Arthur? Talking a ghost? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine. I'll drop the prickle bores off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Right. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No way! I, I can handle a bunch of- Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world, and no emotions can change it. Do you think I could become an exorcist? Why is it you think that birds fly? Is this a hard no? Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche, just the way she taught me. Sounds like a hard rejection right there. You can't be an exorcist, I guess.